know that these patterns exist, that guarding after an injury is normal, and one of my favorite quotes comes from Janet Travell, the author of the Myofascial Trigger Point Manuals. She was John F. Kennedy's physician, the first female White House physician, and she said, after an injury, tissues heal, but muscles learn. They readily develop habits of guarding that outlast the injury. And so when I see people, I'm not thinking hardware. I'm thinking software. I'm not thinking structure, I'm thinking function. I'm on the side of there is something that they've defaulted to, which if we can erase, that person is gonna to begin to feel better almost immediately. It doesn't give me permission to not identify red flags of tumor infection and fracture and to rule them out. I have to know about past malignancies. I have to know about corticosteroid use. I have to know about recent fever, coughs. I have to know about infections, other familial risk factors. Because when there are red flags, I have to look at structural things. But fortunately, 99% of the people we see don't have red flags. And we can identify the 1% who might with very simple medical screens. This is not rocket science, even if it's based on it. So Travell's quote is one that we share in our report of findings to explain why their traps are so tight, why their calf is so tight, why there's so much protection, because that's normal. And they're worried about their injury because they've been told you have a ruptured disc, you have a torn disc. The language is something which, which inculcates catastrophization and fear avoidance behavior. We want to de-escalate that by explaining to people that tissues heal. A fracture will heal after seven or eight weeks. Tissues will heal, but the body will guard and protect, and that becomes programmed. So we're going to work on the software, and this, again, is something that can liberate people. We want to reset the computer, reboot it. 